Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to another video of me on bed. I'm not lying down, but it's good to change things up, sit lying down, maybe I'll stand on a bit. No, I, I don't have to do that. But, you know, there's something I've realised, you know, doing this, me vlogging to a camera, you know, speaking by myself alone in a room. And I realised something, you know, because when I do these vlogs, I don't really have a script. I have an idea in mind, but I try to at least be a bit more free with what I want to say and kind of just, you know, be a bit more open about it. Unless it's a pre-recorded uh, audio. But, you know, something like this is where it's, you know, I just want to say what's on my mind and not have too much expectations or critique of what I'm going to say. And I'm not someone who can improv so easily, so and when I'm in front of the camera, my mind kind of just goes blank. Because at least when I have a script in my hand, and you know, I at least look through it, then when I film, at least I know I'm just gonna film with this. But I don't have a script right now, and I'm just talking to you as such. And yeah, it's quite nerve, it's quite nerve wracking. Um, and I'm unsure, you know, most times what to do, but. You know, since I've done this I think for the past 2-3 weeks, I've improved quite a bit. Um, I've definitely noticed, you know, when I'm editing, how nervous or how shy I will get when I vlog, when I film. And there are a lot of things I cut out, but I definitely have improved in speaking and in terms of presenting myself. And yeah, I think that's one thing that I've definitely learned and improved on through filming and well it's an improvement and I would like to think that you know the more I do vlogging the more I'll be a bit more open um, I've vlogged mainly you know in the comforts of my own home but I hopefully would like to expand on that you know when I go outside in a film and I guess do vlogging outside as well although I'm not sure about talking but I guess it's you know, learning and experimenting with these, two, with these things and vlogging has definitely opened up a lot of areas. You know, I've been able to be a bit more creative, I've been able to be, to improve my speaking and presenting myself and it's been a great area of improvement. Whereas before, I would be scared to kind of film at all and I am vlogging. It's been has been a con it's been a continuous journey over for the past few weeks. And yeah, vlogging right now has taught me a lot. And I'm I'm grateful for that. I hope I continue my before I started filming I was actually very tired. Um, not in general but kind of tired of fil of filming so I'm kind of feeling film feeling the strain of filming every day but you know when it's times like these when I can just sit down you know uh, express my thoughts it feels less stressful it feels like hey I have a platform where I can speak and I don't have to put so much pressure on myself vlogging has um, in weird ways changed my life it's not a thing I would have thought of that I would be doing but here I am so if you want to try something new, try it. You might not be good, but it's always worth the effort to try and learn. Like how I am learning how to vlog. So yes, that's all for me. Take care.